Welcome back to the channel, guys. Happy New Year. It's now 2019. We had a great 2018. I'm hoping 2019 is going to be just as great. We'll have to wait and see, but really do appreciate you guys. So I just want to do this real quick video because a couple of people had brought this to my attention. I thought, what the heck am I looking at here? Um, and somebody had said, hey, look, Sega Saturn Mini. Somebody else said, hey, check this out. It looks pretty cool. And my first impression was I saw this. I was like, what? They're making a Sega Saturn Mini? That's not possible. They haven't even put out the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive Mini yet. So taking a look at this, it's pretty cool, pretty neat, but I just don't see a reason buying this thing. And we'll talk about that in a second. But what this is is from Activo, partnered with Sega um, to have a license to make these little portable, specifically music players, MP3 players, whatever. Is it 2003 all over again? I don't know, but that's what this thing is. It's a portable music player. It does look cool. It is freaking expensive, but these Sega Saturn models, the white one and then the gray one, which obviously these are Japanese exclusive units, they're going for like over 400 bucks. They only made 500 of each color. They look pretty darn sweet, <laughs> but I just don't get it. Like, do people still use stuff like this? The last time I had a dedicated portable music player, was like well over 10 years ago. I couldn't even tell you for sure, but I had this bad boy right here, the Halo 3 Zoom player. I know a lot of people knocked the, the Zoom player, but I actually really dug it and I thought the unit was pretty neat. But that was a long time ago. I think most people have transitioned to using their phones and whatnot to listen to music, like if they're working out, jogging, or just wanting to listen to music in general, um, and they're in a place where they're, they don't have a speaker set up or, or whatever, right? I, I imagine even with that, so, you know, using Bluetooth, sending your music to your speakers, like people are using their phones. Do people really have like everything's been kind of condensed down into a phone? Check your email, watch YouTube. Could you imagine having a portable YouTube player dedicated just to YouTube? Like it's 2019 now, man. Like I just I don't know. I could see these kind of things um, being good for, you know, maybe certain people and and music industry type things, you know, uh, DJs and whatnot. So I, I know a few DJs who use uh, similar setups where with their equipment, they might have a, a dedicated portable music player, but most of them, you know, they're using like a PC or something. But I've known a couple who have used stuff like this with their setup. So I don't know who this is necessarily geared to. Um, but taking a look at this thing, it does have some decent specs. Uh, it, it, it does look neat, but for $400, I, I couldn't do it, man. 3.4 inch screen, less than four ounces, 2,500 milliamp hour battery, quad core processor to process that music, has some nice output level stuff, decoding, file format supports like tons of things, the sample rates. It's some really nice specs for what you're getting here. Um, I just couldn't see spending the money for something like this. I mean, this product came out, I believe, the original version sometime like mid-summer last year. Um, and they go for 300 bucks in the U.S. if you really wanted one. But as you see, you know, there's only 16 reviews on Amazon for this thing. Um, I don't know who's really buying them. Uh, they do look cool, but who who's really using dedicated pieces of equipment for everything they want to do nowadays? I'm sure there's going to be some, but wow, this is just nuts. You see a lot of these little media players don't have very many reviews because I just don't think people are buying them anymore but there's gotta be some kind of special market out there for it, so who knows? But yeah, I mean, he's got some decent little reviews here. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, but like I said, if you're interested in one of these things, might be a cool little collectible. Um, Japan, Amazon Japan, they have them up. They're still available, 500 units made each. They ship uh, January 12th, I believe it was. I can't order through Amazon Japan, so I don't know, not this product specifically, it won't ship outside of Japan, but hey, if you're interested, they're out there, take a look. Me personally, it's a big pass, especially the money. I mean, yeah, cool little collectible, but for the money, is, is it really worth it for something I don't need that I could just use my phone for? <laughs> but it is what it is. Hopefully with Sega doing these kind of partnerships with companies, they're seeing that people still have some nostalgia for Saturn and Maybe they could, you know, do some little special things, get some Saturn classics out there on the Nintendo Switch, PS4, PC, like just get them out there. High quality ports of these games so we could relive some of the awesome games that were released on the Sega Saturn. You know, they still haven't released the Sega Genesis Mega Drive Mini. It's supposed to be coming out sometime this year. 
Can't wait to see what they do with that as long as it's better than at games quality. I think it might be a win, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, with something like this, if they did an emulation system of the Sega Saturn, I just don't think they're ready for that. So I know a lot of people keep saying, I want a Sega Saturn Mini. I want one. I want one. I want one too. But you see the, the problem with emulating the Sega Saturn. Uh, emulation's not perfect. Uh, you know, requires a little higher specs to run properly. I just don't see it being worthwhile for the cost of a device they would put out at this time. Maybe in the future, but I, I don't think it's going to be very likely for a while. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. thought it was kind of a neat little thing. You know, yeah, it's a music player. It doesn't really have to do with uh, gaming, but it's gaming related because it looks like a little Sega Saturn. So just wanted to share this with you guys. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Smash that like button. Make sweet ass love to that notification bell. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Really would appreciate it. And with that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom.